Hello and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host Ken Keith. A big shout out to the folks here in the local user group and those of you who have dropped by and are watching us on Vimeo or YouTube. We, we appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to uh, talk about replacing color in images and using color for emphasis and I've got uh, three different things to show you here not a very long tutorial which uh, you'll be glad of but anyway let's get right to it and I think you're going to have fun playing around with this technique well, I'm going to go ahead and edit this and revert it back a nice trio of calla lilies and this is the this is the image that we're going to use for our demonstration today and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this background layer this is important with the shortcut keys control and J and l let's say that we have decided that uh, we're going to emphasize a certain color or a, uh, that maybe this bloom here we're going to leave in full color and everything else is going to be in black and white and that's going to make that really stand out so we're just going to go over here to your brush tool and you see that you have four different things that are in the the nest here and uh, one of those is the cleverly named color replacement tool so we're going to click on that with a soft brush fairly large and the mode in color and this would be contiguous and the tolerance uh, you might try between 20 and 30 percent to start out with and uh, we'll talk about uh, some other settings in a bit and you see that my cursor now is a circle with a little plus sign in the middle the little plus sign is called sometimes a target or a hot spot and if we set our foreground to black whatever area that is beneath the hot spot is going to change to black and white is going to desaturate those colors and it's all right you've noticed now we're up against the edge here of the the, the bloom that we want to, to leave in black and white and uh, as long as the little target or hotspot doesn't wander over there then we're all right it's okay if the the circle part of the brush overlaps well so I'm not going to complete this entire thing you see obviously what's going on now if you do make a mistake let's say that you accidentally get the target slip and, and get into there then just simply go over grab your eraser tool and erase it away and that's the importance too of having uh, a, a duplicate of your your background here otherwise if you saw briefly from the, the one image that was up here it had the big uh, white spot uh, that was one that didn't have the, uh, just had the single background layer. Now if you get to an, an area here that uh, just simply will not color for you uh, just go ahead and bring your tolerance level up and go back over it go slowly with your target or hot spot and uh, that will color it in. Okay let's revert out of that. So that is one technique. I'm going to edit and revert and once again we're just going to control J to uh, duplicate the background layer and um, instead we're going to now uh, we're going to leave uh, the color replacement tool brush uh, soft edge brush mode color contiguous and and the tolerance is 30 percent and go in here to your foreground your color picker click on that and open it up and let's decide we uh, maybe something bright red here so as we drag over the target spot we now have the purple replaced with red And of course you'll want to do a, a better job than this. 
but you see what's going on here. And now we have red blossomed calla lilies instead of purple. I didn't want this uh, little stamen here to uh, have that color, so I'm going to just go back over it with my eraser tool. Well, that's technique number two. Okay, let's revert out of this. Duplicate the background layer. Control J. And this time we're going to pop up to the Enhance menu, Adjust Color, Replace Color, and you get this nice big dialog box. You'll want to be sure that Preview is checked and Selection is checked. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the eyedropper tool like we do in white balance and, and some other things and we're going to click on a spot of the area that we want to uh, replace the color in. Now we're going to do this and you notice now in the preview we're starting to get a, an area of white and black and uh, as we go uh, we're going to increase the white because what is selected there, what you see in this preview, is what is going to get uh, re uh, the color replaced in. And we're going to do that, we're going to bring this fuzziness slider up, and as you see as I do that, more and more of the area becomes white. We do want to replace all this color. If we decided um, that uh, well everything is working out pretty good for us except we have some bands that that aren't we can go up here to add to sample and you notice this area right here is is not converting over so click on that and this little area right in here and right down in here and now we have a really nice uh, selection it's all white that means that that area is going to receive the replacement color and to do that we can come down and we have hue saturation and lightness once again I'm going to click on this part of the color picker to change the result color as you see it pop up there and uh, let's decide we'd like to have that as a bright red select that click OK and there they are they're all red for us and uh, if you want this a little more intense you can drag the saturation up more and lower the lightness and now they really become red. I think this is a lot of fun and has its uses. Experiment around with it. Have a great week and we'll talk again. Take care.